Okay, so today we will see data paths for uh, TMS uh, 320C67. Okay, so in the previous video we have seen the basic block diagram of this particular chip. Now we come to this particular register files that is inside CPU and uh, we try to see that what is there in the register file so this register file consists of 16 registers in a path and in b path there are two different paths for the register files so both paths are almost identical so in a path we have 16 registers of 32 bits each so A0 is 32 bit, A1 is 32 bit, A2 is 32 bit, A3 is 32 bit and there are valid pairs also that means A0 and A1 will form a register pair so 32 bit and 32 bit altogether 64 bit data can be stored together uh, using this pair same way A2 and A3. So here this even number register is storing LSB and odd number register storing MSB that means LSB 32 bits 32 bit uh, LSB are stored in A0 and 32 MSB bits are stored in A1 likewise other pairs same way as I told you that B is also identical so B is also having 16 32 bit registers and the valid pairs are b0 b1 b2 b3 and so on. so there are eight pairs here and eight pairs here in a eight pairs here in b okay this register pair are connected to each register pair so in path a there are four units that are connected the name of these units are L1, S1, M1 and D1. So in path A, the registers are called by 1, 1, 1 and 1. Okay, so L, S, M and D. And similarly, there are identical units, 4 identical units like uh, D, M, S and L. L, S, M and D are there in path B also. So there are four units here and four units here. Okay. Now these units are having their own 32 bit ports for writing output. So output is designated by DST. So this DST is 32 bit uh, output of each unit. Each unit has this 32 bit output that can be written directly in output port in this register file okay and this each unit has two source that means input 32 bit input src1 that is source 1 and source 2 so source 1 is 32 bit source 2 is also 32 bit and uh, these are also connected to these register pairs so each unit can access the registers in direct path that means this one units L1, S1, M1 and D1 types of units they can have direct connection with path A and same way D2, M2, S2, L2 have direct connections to path B so these are see this you see the direction of these lines each line is of usually 32 bit line so SRC, SRC1, SRC2 that is source so that is the uh, input for this unit and they are taken from this register file and DST is for output for this unit so that, D, that outputs to the or that is output port for this uh, D2 unit same way for all units and uh, there are some exception over here that uh, you see 
this uh, L1 unit you see it has two additional uh, ports that are long DST and long SRC. Now what is meaning of long? So see this uh, particular uh, chip supports uh, three types of data basically that is uh, uh, one is uh, single precision for float single precision float data that is of 32 bits then double precision float of that is of 64 units sorry 64 bits and uh, uh, another is long data that is referred as 40 bits data so 32 bits plus 8 bits so for this additional 8 bits there is a separate provision of long DSD for output and for input long SRC so additional 8 bits they can be taken as input in long SRC and same way additional 8 bits that is in 40 bit format uh, 32 means additional 8 bit uh, so long output of so additional but that provision is there in only two of the units that is L1 and S1 M1 and D1 they don't have this provision same way in lower path only identical register pairs as I told you that this upper path and lower path are almost identical so here in the same manner L1 L1 has this long SRC and long DST S sorry L2 and S2 uh, L1 and S2 so there are actually four such units altogether two in path A two in path B they have long uh, long data provision that means 40 bit data that means 32 plus 8 bit so 8 bit additional set so that that means they will go through these lines okay so unless in until it is specified all lines are of 32 bits and in 8 bits also that see the storage are always uh, register storage are always 32 bits so in these registers when you write uh, additional 8 bit data so you use a pair of registers so that is 64 bits so here when you require only 40 bits so you will ignore most significant 24 bits and use only 8 lows LSBs in the register pairs okay so that way uh, uh, 32 bit 40 bit and 64 bit data are supported in this particular uh, chip okay uh, next is uh, I told you that these uh, four units can have access to this register in path A and lower four units have access to path B or registers in path B now there are cross paths also available that is 1x this 1x this 1x is uh, enabling the regist uh, sum of the units so only three units actually L1, S1 and M1 units to access the data from path B so this 1x provides the access to the data in path B registers to the units upper units or units in the upper path that is path A so but D1 is not connected so D1 cannot have access to this cross path and in cross path also this M1 and S1 can access only SRC2 source 2 not source 1 but L1 can have access to source 1 as well as source 2 from this uh, register path B so 1x provides the access to 3 units in the other path but with some restrictions so here S1 and M1 can have only SRC2 access through this path B and uh, L1 can have access to this uh, uh, both the SRC1 and SRC2 same way the identically that means uh, there is another 2x cross path available that is identically providing the same situation over here that L2 has access to SRC1 and SRC2 
from uh, path A and uh, uh, these uh, other two units that is M2 and S2 have access of uh, SRC2 and uh, from path uh, A. So that is also identical. So uh, this is the data path and all these things are of course 32 bit standard. Okay. So that way it is happening. Now uh, look at this uh, D1 and D2. So D1 and D2 they produce uh, DA1 and DA2. So data address 1 and data address 2. And there is a cross connection of this addressing also. That means uh, the, uh, the DA1 and D DA2 can take data from either path. So simultaneously they can take data of either path. Uh, one more thing that uh, about the cross path uh, as I discussed previously I forgot to mention that here when you access the cross path see there are dedicated direct paths available for output and input uh, as long as they remain in the same path. But when they access to the cross path then only one at a time one of these four units or three units can access one at a time only. So in one cycle only one cross path is or one data can be fetched uh, can be accessed uh, at a time. So not all the three units can do simultaneously but any one of them. Similarly in the other cross path at least any one of the units can access to this cross path. So at the most two of the units can have access to the uh, cross path at a time. Now coming back to here that is data 1 sorry data address 1 and data address 2. So uh, the memory can be accessed data memory can be accessed by this address uh, simultaneously. So uh, either of these two paths uh, can uh, be connected to the memory through these two address lines. Then uh, there is a uh, uh, there is a standard called T1 that consists of LD1 load data 1 that is having two uh, components uh, LDA, uh, LD1A and LD1B and there is a store T1 store data so ST store ST for store LD for load and DA for data address so all these three Com, uh, in combination is called T1 and this T1 standard is used in instruction set so that we will see later but right now you see that uh, there is a LD1A, LD1B, LD1A is of 32 bits here 32 bits so LD1B is MSB 32 bit MSB and LD1A is 32 bit LSB. So, altogether, at it simultaneously, you can load 64 bytes of uh, input from the data. Okay. And for the output or for storing into the memory from the register, you have ST1 that is of 32 byte, uh, 32 bit store. And that is from the address. DA1 or DA2 any one of the addresses can be used depending upon the instruction. So this is T1 same way here T2 is also identical to that. So LD2A, LD2B both of 32 bits similarly store 2 for 32 bits and address ok. So that way we can have access to the or connection to the memory data memory to this register pair so the data can be accessed from the memory to the units or registers and uh, in this T1 and T2. So depending upon the instruction you can uh, do exchange of this T1 and T2 uh, use so that depends on in instruction so you will see uh, uh, you have to see the details uh, of the instruction for that matter how to use that ok. So uh, I think this is uh, uh, general data path for uh, 
uh, and explain a brief explanation of this diagram given on page number 29 29 in this uh, pdf file that i have shared with you that is the tms 320 c67 uh, cpu data pass okay thank you very much